Star Wars The Black Series. This is Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. And it's number 17 in the line. And this is Obi-Wan Kenobi Jedi Legend. And it's a lot like the Jabim figure, which came before this. But it has a few different updates and a few different, like, it's got a different accessory, which is the T-16 Skyhopper toy that he gave to Luke Skywalker. That's pretty nice. I like the, the cloth goods on this one. It's pretty decent. And he just comes with his lightsaber. So there's the Galaxy Sight Art. Looks good. Very nice. There's the bottom if it helps anybody out with the skew. Let's see, like that. There you go. And here's the back. If you want to pause it and read the bio, you can check it out. Like I said, number 17 in the Obi-Wan Kenobi line. Let's get this guy out and check him out. Be right back. So here's Obi-Wan Jedi Legend right out of the box. But first, let's look at the accessories he comes with. Here's the T-16 Skyhopper. And I had a really hard time getting this thing free from the plastic. Oh, my God. They cut slits in the plastic where they had the top fin and the side fins. And it was threaded through there and you couldn't push it out. I actually had to cut away the plastic just to get it out. But anyway, all that annoyingness aside, it's a really cool little ship. The details are nice. Very cool. Yep. Here's the blaster on the front. All this comes off too. You can take all this stuff off. So you just have the ship if you want them just holding the ship. And it's cool. It looks good. I like it. Pretty nice. But it has the it has the stand and and the blaster part that comes off. So yeah. I'm not gonna worry about that for right now, but it's cool. And then he comes with his lightsaber. And this lightsaber is a little bit controversial. Um, mainly the emitter here is black. And some people were saying that that's not accurate to the show, but it is accurate supposedly. So that is accurate to the show. But uh, I guess a lot of people are kind of freaked out that, oh, it doesn't look right. But uh, I guess supposedly it is correct. Mine is a little, I've noticed like with the last couple figures I've gotten with this, when they went back to the, to the old style packaging, that the lightsabers are a little more warped when they come out. So this one needs to be heated up to be corrected. But it's a nice sculpt. It looks good. It's got a little peg where you can peg it into his side. Yep. It's decent looking. It's got some nice detail there on the on the uh, switch. Yep. Looks good. Nice detail. Well, anyway, here's Obi-Wan. And it's a pretty good figure. I like the goggles on this. The goggles look cool. The soft goods are decent. The hood actually looks okay. It's not bad. Doesn't look too Gandalfy. So it's not, you know, what I mean by that is it kind of like, you know, pointy like Lord of the Rings. But anyway, as far as articulation on Obi-Wan here, you get about not quite 90, about 90 with some swivel. My hands are so stiff on this thing that they're trapped in here. I think it has, I think it has vertical and horizontal hinges on both, but mine are literally so tight. And with these sleeves, over the overlay with the sleeves, they don't move. I mean, they rotate, but... I can't feel whether it's up or down or sideways, which is really weird. And I've kind of forgotten. I've watched other people's videos on this. But anyway, it, I guess it doesn't matter much. It's trapped anyway. But you can, you can take the robes off if you want. And it's basically a lot like the Jabim figure underneath. I like the pouch. It's pretty much the same. There's a little, there is some, some differences. So supposedly it's a little bit different. But yeah. And then as far as like articulation... Kind of limited articulation with the legs. No boot cut swivel, but you do get thigh swivel. And it does, it does swivel up at the thighs underneath. So he's got, you know, thigh cut. And articulation is kind of tight. I mean, it has, a, has rocker. But as far as, like, the detents on his feet, not much. I mean, look at that. Really severely limited. So I'm not overly impressed. Overall, I mean, eh, it's okay. But the likeness is what most people like. Yeah. I think it does look like Ewan. It's a pretty good likeness. And I like the color on the hair on this one. I guess they think it's... They, most people say this one's more... A little more accurate. You can take the goggles off and put them on. But you pretty much gotta get it out from underneath his, his hair. And then maybe possibly take his head off to, to get him around him. But I'm not gonna mess with it right now. So I'm just doing a quick review on it. But overall, I think it's a decent figure. 
I guess it's about the be about about the I you know I agree it's probably about the best of the four. But I kind of to be honest with you, I'm kind of personal. I mean, partial to uh, the blue shirted Obi Wan. I just like how that figure looks. I think that's my favorite one, even though it only just comes with I think like his backpack and whatever. But I mean, that's that's kind of my favorite. This one looks good though visually as far as the sculpt. I think it looks pretty much just like him. They did a good job. Yeah, my copy looks decent as far as the eyes. So, yeah, I think head sculpt-wise, yeah, it, it, it's good. It's pretty good. But that's really about it. It does have a pocket on the soft goods, and the soft goods are not wired, so it is what it is. But it's a decent little figure. Not bad. Yeah. I'm glad I picked it up. So that's probably the last of the Obi-Wans for me. I have three out of the four, so but I don't have Jabim, but I have this one. So and, and it's very similar to to, uh, to Jabim. So yep. But anyway, well I guess that's about it for for Obi Wan. If you stuck around and watched this, thanks a lot. I appreciate it, and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Please remember to give a, a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. It really helps the channel. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. Thanks again, and we will catch you uh, down the line. I'm always uploading new stuff to, uh, to my channel, so come back and check out my playlist for more more uh, videos. Thanks again. Take care, and may the Force be with you. Always.